you know, my how um the NBA had family. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. How are you? Haven't made a video in a minute, but I want to uh, uh, do this video for those of y'all who know old school basketball. And I, for me, old school basketball is from like, um, let's see, when I became aware, maybe from 69, 70, you know, you vaguely remember all the way up until now. Okay, and that would be my history of watching the game. And I've seen a lot watching the game. I knew um, for Milwaukee Bucks um, when Alex English played here. In fact, well, his he he him and a um, I'm just gonna say a real good friend, my one of my brother's best friends were friends. Okay. And so uh, I knew well, I used to go to some of the games. And when Bob Lanier was the center, God rest the dead, bless his soul. Bob Lanier used to be smoking in the damn locker room. You know, I remember all this stuff, you guys. And it was a normal part of basketball. They would drink beer and stuff in the uh, locker room. So that didn't come across weird to me. It does today in the light of things because you can't smoke no more inside no damn buildings. You know, all these things and how the rules have changed, you know, since I was coming up. Now, I'm not putting the judgment on them, whether it's good or bad, but I'm saying that destroyed the myth for me that basketball players didn't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> some of them were smoking their asses up. So if you do see some of them with some cig uh, cigars, what will make you think they, didn't, they don't smoke cigarettes, right? Well, I'm just saying. Anyway, this article was so crazy, that, but it is not really shocking to me. And that is Keon Clark saying that he never paid, played a basketball game sober. The former Sacramento Kings center confessed that he drank alcohol every game during halftime. <laughs> And y'all know Keon was a monster. He was pretty good. I mean, I don't, I mean, well, duh. As a journeyman, I think he did a pretty good job. Okay. So Sacramento Kings faithful Keon Clark was a promising big man. And he, he set an ambitious task of coming in for Vladi Diva. Y'all remember Vladi? And anchoring the defense while the Serbian center had rested. However, nobody knew that the center who averaged 11.7 rebounds in one block, and I think that's pretty good as a, a backup, never played a single game without a little bit of booze in his system. Clark's NBA stint was a bit short. He spent six years in the league. <laughs> that's because he was drunk. And after playing his final game in 2003, Clark's life actually went down hill spiral. So now it's not even funny no more. In 2007, the Danville, Illinois, which is right up the street. Uh, wow. He was slapped with a two and a half year prison sentence for drug and weapons charges. However, an Illinois judge scratched it off and gave him a chance to defend himself in a new hearing. While the judge's decision to give the ex-NBA player another shot was, ready remark was already remarkable, Clark stole the show in the hearing as he shockingly confessed that he had been an alcoholic since high school and never played a single NBA game so. So now, who were the damn enablers? Y'all see how, I mean, I ain't trying to be funny, but you see how they get to keep stuff under wraps? Because everybody smelled alcohol just like you smelled marijuana. You know damn well you smell if somebody been drinking. I don't care if they try to spray perfume on their breath. None of it. I don't care. 
He said, I've never played a game sober. Unfortunately, it just never stopped. He said he revealed he was drinking a, a half pint to a pint of gin daily and drank alcohol every game, even during halftime. Sadly, the 2007 sentence did not have the desired impact on Clark. He went on and had more run-ins with the law, and he capped it off with a weapons charge in 2012 and a DUI charge in 2013. That same year, Clark was sentenced to eight years in prison. Now, while the judge, I mean, while in jail, Clark realized his mistakes, and after serving half of his sentence, the then 42-year-old was paroled, and apart from learning his lessons, the six foot eleven lefty also admitted that depression turned him into an alcoholic, and he depended on it to numb the pain. Listen, this is ghetto life, brother. This is ghetto life, where you can come and find your stars. They know it. The dominant society know it because they come and pluck us out of it. Out of this, these wretched conditions, so they can use us to run a ball up and down the court. Because they know can't nobody run no ball, whether it's football or basketball, like us. Okay? But ain't nobody caring that you are alcoholic. Nobody caring about that. It's just put the ball in the hoop, nigga. I know y'all don't like to hear me talk like that, but I'm telling you the reality. Clark added that being sober while serving time cleared his mind. And though he never wished jail time for others like him out there, Clark reckoned that it helped him view life differently. Me, because I don't wish jail upon nobody. Okay? And as bad as conditions that we have in the inner city, when they throw you away in jail, you get it. You get the kind of joke that this system really is because it really is not about rehabilitation. Okay? It's about snatching your soul. He said, I don't wish prison on anybody. But I see my time away, my sabbatical, as the education of me. It was time well spent. When I went to prison, alcohol wasn't on my mind. I was on my mind. Damn right. You had lived a high life, and now you sub subjugated to this? Well, Clark has been a, a free man for five years now, so I don't want you guys to think he's still in jail. And like the people who love him, we wish Keon Clark nothing but the best. Okay? Um, that was an article taken from the Basketball Network. And the article was written by Philip Trivick. I wish you well, Keon, because I definitely remember you playing. But I wish you well. With that being said, if you like what you hear, let it be known to all. Subscribe and share. I'm sorry. You know, these some of these memes are just really insane. Y'all just too crazy. Y'all sick. All right. I'll see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share.